When Mrs. Gladys Godfrey fancies lettuce for tea, she goes bug hunting with a magnifying glass. She's looking for the cleanest lettuce she can find because she's intending to eat it without washing it first. Mrs. Joy Lewis goes to her daughter's home for her daily water ration. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. She travels 10 miles a day because she won't drink her own tap water. When 17-year-old Carolyn Peck washes her hair, it's quite a palaver. She has to rinse her hair with cupful after cupful of water, ignoring the handy hand shower up on the wall. One might think, of course, that those people are acting admirably and being frugal and conserving Britain's dwindling water resources. But the point they're making, and bizarre though it may seem, has got nothing to do with conservation. It's got to do with pollution and contamination. The water is alive. Alive with these. They're the larvae of midges, known to the connoisseurs as chironomid. They're not reckoned to be harmful, but they're certainly repugnant. They're about an eighth to a quarter of an inch long, and under a microscope, they're like something out of a horror movie. Reddish brown in color, they eventually hatch out into midges. It's ironic that they're carried in water which is among the most costly in the country. The people who have to pick these out of their drinking water or share their baths with them have to pay one of the highest water rates in Britain. The only remedy for the users are homemade strainers over the taps, bits of muslin or even silk stockings. And when the frustrated consumers get together for a tea party, it's anything but tea. They stick to drinks that come out of cans or come out of bottles. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Do with it. Well, I don't seem to be any worms in this. No. So it's not exactly polluted water, but it's water full of um, worms and other creepy crawlies, which uh, are objectionable. We're assured that they're harmless, which I think is. It's ridiculous, it's, isn't it? It's nonsense. Yes, uh, we harmless don't. as they may be, but they're objectionable. Rotten thing when your friends come. Yeah. What do you tell them? Yeah. Uh, for instance, we got a friend of ours, she just had operation on her stomach and she has to, she drinks a lot of water. She drinks like well, What can you tell her? Can you tell her that you don't drink that, it's got worms in it? They oh, all come out swimming, oh, don't they? Yes, they're all they're alive. I know they come out alive. Yeah. It's, it's oh, not funny, well, really. How can I drink it's really it's really Yes, yes. Uh, and there was a neighbour of ours. Uh, she was done, done a washing and she was rinsing it. And when she looked at her clothes, she got all these brown worms on it. So she had to wash it all over again. Wash it all over again. Now I'm. Uh, no. This is nasty, it's nauseating, isn't yeah. it? Oh, it's, it's nasty. Cold water isn't it? is everything. It's the, it's, it's, we've had it for three years, and as far as I'm concerned, it's no better, it's worse. Yeah. Mm. One feels one is almost under siege. You can't take a shower because presumably they get into your hair. You can't take a bath. You can't brush your teeth without setting your teeth on edge. You can't even get a nice, cool, crystal clear glass of water. In fact, it's estimated that many thousands of people are affected. Essex Water Company has set up a two-man midge squad. Creepies are counted by sluicing them into midge-trapping balloons attached to water hydrants at special midge-monitoring points around South End. The water company's anti-midge campaign has cost over £90,000, most of which has been spent on a sophisticated micro-filter system. 
They've tried endless methods and sought advice from creepy crawly experts all over the country. It's a nightmare that's been going on for three years for Gordon Spencer, the company's general manager. It's not very healthy, is it, to, uh, to have these sort of things in the water supply? Well, uh, we are advised by the medical people that there's no health risk. You can drink these to your heart's content, but of course it's obviously very objectionable and uh, it's not a thing we would like people to uh, have to face up to doing. If they're that harmless, let me put you to the test. This is something of a surprise for you. I've got here a glass full of bug-ridden H2O. Take yeah. a sip, see what you think to it. Well, it's Would not you a, drink it? It's not a fair test, because they're at the bottom, and I could drink that without them. Oh, uh, they'll, they'll, come on, they'll come around. Give it, a, give it a tap. They'll swim around. They'll curl around. You haven't actually drank the midges, as you say, they're resting on the bottom. I insist you well, take the whole thing back. Well, if you... If, if you Go on, can. one quick gulp, it won't do you any harm. I mean, there's one woman down there with severe anemia who has to drink two pints a day of that. Well, what do they taste like? They don't taste of anything. There are a few in there. Um, there's only a couple of ounces of water. Yes, but... Uh, Try drinking two pints a day, like the woman uh, who's got severe anemia. She's been instructed to do that by her doctor. As I say, uh, 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 it, it's objectionable. If she doesn't like drinking it out there uh, neat, she can always filter it through some gauze or something of this sort. Not very good in 1973, though, to have to, to, have to make do with, with a homemade filtering system, is it? No, and it's not a state of affairs that we like.